Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Oh, you are the way, waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. I'm the truth of the that is coming from the depth of our hearts and let it be a sweet sound unto your name Lord God Papa nous prosterne bien bas devant à soi recevoir adoration qui n'a déposé devant l'hôtel ou à bon Dieu pas venir là pour monde mais nous venir là pour vous Seigneur prends contrôle ça ça à soi fais ça vous voulez dans mi temps nous Ça ouvre nos mitons, nous marchons dans cela. Oh, consolez cœur qui besoin à soi, à bon Dieu, besoin en Jésus. Nous besoin au Seigneur. Oh, y'a pas plus passé. Oh, y'a pas qu'à Rivaliser, il se premier dernier, c'est le vrai Dieu, oui, c'est le vrai Dieu. Sous quoi ça, levez-moi ensemble avec moi, je t'en remets, mais on levez, 
Levez mes mains. Je ne vais pas supposer forcer ou lever mes mains devant bon Dieu ça. Bon Dieu fait trois pour. Bon Dieu fait trois pour. Du fait que vous campez là, ça doit être la première raison pour lever mes mains. The fact that you are standing here tonight, his breath is in your lung. That is enough for you to lift up your hands before him in worship. Souvent là nous vini genou ouvert. A lot of times when our eyes is open, we're distracted. And God is looking for us to worship him, but we're distracted. Tonight I encourage you, close your eyes and let your heart be connected with God. Oh, Saint Esprit, bon Dieu, prend cœur à soi. Qui t'elle saisit cœur à soi? Qui t'elle touche cœur à soi? Nous bénissons, Seigneur. Nous bénissons, Yahweh. We bow down before you, Lord God, tonight. Coupe nous bien bas devant à soi parce que nous besoin. Reconnais nous pas qu'à faire rien sans nous, Papa. Nous croyons que pas qu'il rien qui a campé devant, pas qu'il rien qui a rivalisé ou ou ces premiers ou ces derniers et nous bénissons pour ça.
frapper mais nous pour bon Dieu ça qu'a prenier pour tout le temps. On nous frapper mais on pas prenier mais on plus fort, plus fort, plus fort. Est-ce qu'elle n'a pas mérité tout louange? Est-ce qu'elle n'a pas mérité toute adoration qui a sorti dans le fond de nous? Je sens que l'applaudissement, ça, c'est un applaudissement qui chiche. On nous frappe, mais nous plus fort pour bon Dieu. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Et dans le moment ça, on a fait place avec Pasteur Jacques, qui a continué ensemble avec la cérémonie pour assurer. Bon Dieu bénisse nous. Alléluia. 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 Sous quoi que présence, bon Dieu, dans sa la crie avec Alléluia. Sous quoi, bon Dieu, grand crie Alléluia. Sous quoi, ça qu'a fait là, la fête pour la gloire de Dieu, crie Alléluia. Crie Alléluia. 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 Crie avec Alléluia. Alléluia. Ça qu'a fait à soi, ça symbolise. Côté que, n'a pillé le royaume ténèbre, et puis n'a peuplé, n'a rempli le royaume spirituel, là, qui c'est le royaume lumière. Là. À soi, ça t'en fâché. Mais le fait comment c'est fâché, parce que nous ne pouvons pas de l'évangile, que la puissance de l'évangile, là, et bien, la continue à travers nous-mêmes pour nous capables de sauver l'autre qui perd Dieu. En criant avec Alléluia. Béni soit l'éternel. Continuez à acclamer le Seigneur encore avec moi. Acclamez le Seigneur avec moi encore. Gloire à Dieu. Et bien, à soi, nous connaissons qui raison qui fait nous capables là. Nous tous nous connaissons raison. Qui ça fait nous là, à soi, qui réunit à soi là? Qui raison qui fait nous réunir à soi? Oh, personne là. Non? Qui ça fait chita là, à soi? Oh, mes amis. Ordination. C'est qui laisse? Hein? C'est qui laisse qui a pardonné à soi? Oh, on seul monde qui compte pour qui c'est là, soi? Oh non, non, non. Donc nous disons, bon Dieu, merci que à soi nous sommes capables ensemble avec Frère Goodback et Frère Evans. Et très bientôt, nous parlons, nous parlons de vous. Et vous pouvez entrer dans un moment de consécration pour vous être capable de consacrer à Dieu au travail que Dieu confie vous. Et ce n'est pas à soi que vous consacrez, ce n'est pas à soi que vous choisissez, ce n'est pas à soi que vous reconnaissez. Mais depuis avant la fondation du monde, Dieu a été choisi pour vous capable là. Et dans ça, on donne ministériel que lié, c'est Jésus même, même qui baille dans ça. Yo. Les cinq dons ministériels, eh bien, à savoir à soi, nous sommes capables de dire bon Dieu ça. Merci pour Frère Widmack et Frère Evans qui pourraient entrer dans la bataille. Ça. Hmm. Qui pourraient entrer dans la bataille. Ça. Donc, euh, je job nous, c'est pour nous prier pour nous. job nous, c'est pour nous mettre les genoux nous à terre pour nous. Uh, job nous, c'est pour nous capables de camper. Est-ce qu'on peut camper devant le tout? Capable de continuer avec vous, bataille ça, lutte ça, afin que pour nous capables de vaincre l'ennemi. Pas de nous sommes capables de camper à distance, mais nous sommes unis ensemble pour nous capables de continuer à battre Satan le diable, le royaume ténèbre, continuer à battre le gol toujours. Pendant qu'on va chanter ensemble, grand Dieu, nous te bénissons. Grand Dieu, nous te bénissons. Toute gloire, tout l'honneur, il n'y a pas de Dieu. Monsieur. Grand Dieu, nous te bénissons. Nous célébrons tes louanges.
Gloire au Saint-Esprit, gloire reçoit à Dieu le Père, gloire reçoit à Jésus-Christ, notre Sauveur, notre Père, son immense charge. présenter des et à des vocations. Venez nous pour la prière. Éternel notre Seigneur, toi qui règnes d'éternité en éternité. Nous nous gloire et honneur pour ça où y est, où établi création, où fondé création, où intervenu la dernière à chaque seconde. Où prend soin création, où établit l'église, au Seigneur, et où prend soin l'église. Merci du fait que c'est vous-même qui choisit, c'est vous-même qui établit, et c'est vous-même qui renvoie. Nous avons demandé au Père, pour en place dans la cérémonie, à soi, à tourner dans la cérémonie, ça. Et dirigez nous même et tirez gloire à la donne au Père. Bénis chaque intervenant et bénis les récipiendaires particulièrement. Et permettez au Père que vous à même, que vous mesure, que vous réellement établi et recevoir onction que vous avez à travers le serviteur au Père. Nous chaque réuni à soi, nous réunis pour une bonne gloire, nous réunis pour nous adorer, nous réunis pour nous exalter. Parce que c'est vous-même qui bon Dieu et qui décidez. Ou toujours agir, ou agir. Nous demandé au Seigneur, fais-nous une volonté, fais-nous une gloire ou encore une foi. Merci Seigneur pour ce ministère. Merci pour le ministère de la mission méthodiste libre que ce so a posé et que travaille au oh Dieu les croître, les multiplier pour ta gloire et pour ta plus grande gloire. Au nom de Jésus. Amen. Et nous vivons dans le moment qu'on y a là pour nous capables de faire lecture de la parole de Dieu qui parle fait dans 1 Timothée 3, verset 1 à 7. C'est ce nom, ce Nama Luima. À ce Nama, pour la gloire de Dieu. We're going to find our scripture reading in Timothy chapter, 1 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 7. Let us stand together as we read this scripture together. 1 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 to 7. This saying is trustworthy. If anyone aspires to be an overseer, he desires a noble work. An overseer, therefore, must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, self-controlled, sensible, respectable, hospitable, and able teacher, not addicted to wine, not a bully, but gentle, not quarrelsome, not greedy, one who manages his own household competently, having his children under control with all dignity. If anyone does not know how to manage his own household, how, how will he take care of God's church? He must not be a new convert, or he might become conceited and fall into the condemnation of the devil. Furthermore, he must have a good reputation among outsiders so that he does not fall into disgrace and the devil's trap. Amen. Amen. 
nous disons bon Dieu merci et nous arrivons dans un moment qu'on euh, n'a pas le présenté et pasteur Olivio euh, n'a pas le présenté lui qu'on a et c'est lui-même qui gagne pour capable présenter toute l'autre pasteur qui est en lui pasteur Olivio oh. Grace and peace to all. It is good to be here in the house of the Lord. And it is good to be with you today. And we sing praises to the Lord for the reason we are here today. Um, we are here to praise the Lord. We are here to sing Him praises. And also, we are here because we need to... We need to install, right, two pastors to a church, and um, that's why we have this special ceremony for today, and I believe that the Lord is pleased with us because we are continuing to work in the expansion of his kingdom and having people ready to step up. And to be appointed as pastor to a church is a very good action. So we are glad for the reason we are here today. Um, uh, with me today, I also have, uh, so for those that do not know me, I am Miller Olivio. I am a pastor. I am also a executive superintendent for the church for the conference Acts 1224 churches, right, in the Free Methodist Church of USA. So, um, and also I oversee the region of New Jersey and New York. So that's why I'm here representing our region. So today also with me, I have the district leader of this region, right, the Brooklyn. So I would invite him to come here with me, Pastor Edward Paulino. Okay. And uh, uh, in a few minutes, here I will give him uh, the microphone so he can say a few words too. And also I have with me uh, the district leader and also the president of the chair of the the MAG board, which is a board that approves candidates, right? So I have here with me, so Pastor Joel Guzman, right? I don't know if our Pastor Ariel made it. Pastor Ariel is not here today, right? Okay, so he couldn't arrive. Very good. So I only have these two uh, pastors with me. So Pastor Paulino, uh, he is um, uh, also... A pastor, he has a church right next over here in uh, 16th Street, Prospect Avenue, right? So his church is here. So he has provided assistance to, uh, past, to both pastors with Mark and Pastor Evans, right? So he is uh, giving him teachings. He's giving him the instructions. He's doing the good mentoring and coaching that they need in ministry, right? So I would like you to say a few words, Pastor, if you could. May the peace of God and the blessing of the Lord be with all of you in this wonderful evening. Amen. This occasion brings me great joy Amen. because I have seen these uh, two men that are going to be uh, appointed uh, to this uh, church. They're going to be installed as the pastors of this church. And it brings me great joy as I work with them, as I see their zeal for the Lord, their passion for God, and also for God's church. So it is truly with a humble heart that I participate in this event, and I'm looking forward to many years of fruitful ministry from these two men of God that are uh, being installed tonight. 
God bless you. Uh, keep praying for them. Keep encouraging them. And I can tell you that God is going to bless this church as we continue to be obedient, multiplying no members, no churches, until God desires to come back and take his church again. So, um, so here on my left, I have Pastor Joel Guzman. Uh, Pastor Joel Guzman has been uh, helping also uh, Pastor Evans and Pastor Widmark, right? Because they went through interviews, right? So it's a long process, right? So uh, a person cannot just be a pastor, just, oh, I'm a pastor, right? It doesn't work like that. And also, in the Free Methodist Church, we have a process, right, for everything. We follow candidates. We help them succeed in ministry. We help them grow. And Pastor Joel Guzman has been also, because he's also a chair of this board. So uh, he has been directly also helping uh, both pastors. And I want him to share a few words for us today, brother. Uh, my, my church is in the Bronx. Uh, I came here this evening from there. I first would like to say to all of you, uh, Laila Tov Anahim. Buenas noches, hermanos. Bonsoir, Framewe. That's what I said, okay? <laughs> Blessings. It's been a pleasure to see these two young men. I've known their father for a long time, and I've seen them around since they were so little, and it's uh, an honor to be alive, <laughs> to see them here. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. So I also want to say thank you for every one of you that came today. Right? Uh, I understand that we already had the church service this morning, right? So for many of you, it's a second service or the third service, right? So we are so glad that you came today for this celebration because we are all joyful for what the Lord has made, right? So uh, the reason that this is happening, right? Also, we can never forget this church, right, was founded by uh, our lovely pastor, right, Pastor Nettie Pierre, which we are so grateful for his work. We are so grateful for the work he did for Jesus when he answered to the call to come here to Brooklyn. And also he had the help, right, with Pastor uh, Wilfred, with uh, 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 Gideon, right? So he's here today. Uh, where, where is he? Right there. Brother, I would like to, for you to come here too, right? Yes. Right, so uh, Pastor uh, Gideon has been um, a faithful servant, right? You all know him, and I want him to say a few words as well um, uh, in, in support Right of Pastor Widmark and Pastor Evans. Once again, you know? Amen. God bless you all. Amen. Uh, I'm not going to be so good. I'm going to be a little bit of 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 Na Yuiju, in around eight days, I met his father. I met with Pastor Nedi. And in 1993, one year after, we were together. And the Church of de Bethlehem took place. Amen. And God gave me a heart with a heart sincere. 
et nous avons déployé tout effort nous pour l'église être capable de subsister. Et ça qui fait plaisir, c'est parce que Frère Evans, tu es jeune petit garçon, tout petit, 12 ans, 11 ans, et Frère Edouard qui venait après, et il a hérité l'église là, et jusqu'à ce que je dis, et en absence de papa, il est capable de continuer l'œuvre ça. Sauf ça, c'est en grâce qu'il y a. On nous dit ensemble merci Seigneur. Merci Seigneur. Et il y a un pile papa qui fait petite et qui pas joué un tel privilège. Et désolé parce que je ne dis pas là pour assister à une telle cérémonie. Mais nous-mêmes qui étions là, qui étions connus depuis que nous étions petits, et nous disons bon Dieu merci pour vous. Et nous souhaitons que nous tous qui là, qui viennent supporter vous. Et nous sommes capables de continuer à prier pour vous. Et continuer à prodiguer des bons conseils à vous-même. Et supporter le travail que vous pouvez offrir avec la communauté. Et au lieu que vous ne disiez pas de mal de vous, vous pouvez que nous prions pour vous-même. Pour vous plutôt. Et vous avez des bons conseils. Parce que vous faites un bon choix. Vous choisissez. Vous êtes capable d'offrir la tête pour l'œuvre bon Dieu capable de marcher. So, Moi-même, je suis content et pour que je sois capable d'assister. Et je suis à ma disposition pour que je sois capable de toute aide nécessaire pour continuer à l'église méthodiste de Bethléem. Je vous encore, bon Dieu béni. Nous, messieurs, bon travail. Thank you. I thought you were going to preach. OK. <laughs> so, Um, as we continue, right, with this, uh, with this time, I want then to invite uh, both pastors, Pastor Woodmark, right, to come forward, and also Pastor Evans to come forward, and if you could bring also your spouse with you. You could stand over there, yes. So, uh, the best, you know how you know a tree or a fruit is when you have a seed and you can plant and that seed has another fruit, right? Uh, this is called continuation of life. Um, so, this church is blessed because there were fruits while Pastor Nettie Pierre was pastoring this church. There were many being part of this ministry. And today, the church can continue because there were disciples. There were pastors being trained so they could continue the work of the Lord. And this is the blessing of a church. And we want to say thank you for being part of their lives too because you saw them growing, right? Many of you saw them growing. Uh, so we are so glad that today we have you here, uh, Pastor Widmark and Pastor Evans, you know. Uh, let me ask the church, is it difficult to call them pastors? <laughs> let me ask the church, is it easy or difficult to call them pastors? So, so, right? Okay, all right. We invite the church to call them pastors, okay? Uh, they could be very young. Maybe they don't like to be called pastors, you know. I know a little bit of Widmark and I know a little bit of Evans. I believe they don't want to be called pastors. But they are pastors, okay? They are being installed. Yes, you can clap. Yes, you can clap. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So there is a respect, right, that the church needs to have towards them, right? They have been, uh, they have been already appointed uh, uh, by the conference, and today I'm just officiating in presence here before the church. So they are, they are already empowered by the conference, by the organization, right? 
uh, and also empowered by God himself that gave him the calling, right, for them to lead the church as pastors, okay? So uh, maybe you are a little bit one year older than Widmark, okay? But you call him pastor, okay? <laughs> All right? So the age has nothing to do with the authority that God can give to a person, okay? And they will need lots of your love, prayer, and support, right? They need your support because it is difficult. Let me ask mom here. Mom! Um, <laughs> mom! Are they good pastors, mom? Yes, you want to come and say something? You can say some few words here, mom. It's okay. Yes, we are so glad for you, mom. So today you see both of your children, right? Here being receiving the, this role of pastoring the church you you can say a few words to them feel free yes you can translate heavens que bon dieu bénisse nous on content à ce soir parce que moi j'ai deux garçons qui pasteur c'est une grâce bon dieu faire pour moi et de me prier m'a fait de nous prier tout grâce bon dieu avec nous thank you thank you thank you mom thank you okay you may be seated yes Okay, so um, it, is, it is a pleasure, right, for us. So I have a few questions that I have to ask uh, both of them, right? And then we're going to pray for them, right? And, uh, and then later we want uh, the church, right, to bless also these pastors, right? So I would like to ask uh, Pastor Joel, would you pray right now, Pastor Joel, um, uh, giving thanks to the Lord for these two lives. We thank you, dear Lord, for the lives of Widmark and Evans. Thank you, Lord, that you have been preparing them all their lives. Thank you, Father, that you have given them their purpose for why they are alive here today. Even though they may not have known as young children, but now they know and they are sure that you have singled and called them out to lead the flock of Christ. We thank you for them. We thank you for your calling, that it is secure, it is true, it is firm. And we bless the congregation that they may be able to be fed through them, that they may be able to laugh and to sing and to cry and to suffer and the good times with them as they lead their flock to greater pastures, to greater ministry, to new levels of ministry to multiple places. We thank you, Father, for your leading upon their lives. And we ask your continual blessing over them in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The name of Ha'av, Ha'ben, Haruach HaKodesh. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Joel. Uh, so I'd like to ask a few questions to Pastor Widmark and Pastor uh, Evans, right? So, will you seek the Lord and the wisdom of the Holy Spirit so you may guide this church and to the coming of the Lord Jesus? We will lead the church, Brooklyn Bethlehem of Free Methodist Church, according to the sound biblical doctrine and in agreement with the polity of the Free Methodist Church. We will submit to the leadership, to the authority, 
and uh, of the Free Methodist Church, and also teach submission to the church, to the local church, and to the Lord, uh, uh, with a heart of humility in the spirit. So, um, I'm glad you all said yes. <laughs> okay, so we will be praying for them right now. I would like to ask the church to stand, please, if you all could stand. I would like if you could, bow, uh, if you could uh, knee down, please. I know it's a little hard, right? But it's okay, right? Um, if the wife want to do too, that's fine, okay? Uh, the reason I ask for the wives to come here. It's because the pastor is not a pastor alone, right? He, Pastor Widmark, is the pastor of the church. Pastor Evans is the pastor of the church, both of them, right? Um, um, Ruth and, and, um, um, and Katja, yes, <laughs> yeah. So, Ruth, yeah. Angie, yes, Renj, Angie and Katja, yes. I'm, I'm still lear uh, with learning the names, right? Yeah, Ruth is a sister. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, but the spouse is the support system for the pastor. And uh, so that's why I asked them to be here, right? And we will pray for both of you, okay? So, Pastor Paulino, could you do this prayer as, I, as we put our hands? So, Pastor... Let us pray. Most gracious Father, we gather this evening in this special occasion to ask for your blessing over these two men and their spouses as they step into ministry to faithfully serve as pastors of the flock here in Brooklyn. Lord, we pray that you bless their ministry, that you make them prosper, yes, Lord. that you give them the Holy Spirit so they will be able to speak the truth yes. of the gospel. Yes. Heavenly Father, we ask you that you empower them with the knowledge of the scriptures yes. so they will be able to explain the scriptures to those who are in need of explanation. I pray that you give them the gift of counseling so they can also offer sound advice to those that are seeking guidance. Lord, give them the gift of administration as I need to administer the church, as I need to administer the elements in Holy Communion, as they baptize people, as they marry couple, as they do the full scope of the gospel, Lord, be with them. Lord, I pray that you help them to be vigilant, to guard their souls, help them against the evil one, protect them, so they always be an example of true leaders of your church. And Lord, I pray that you make the ministry fruitful, that many new believers will come to be because of their preaching, because of their example. I want to pray, Lord, that even many churches get established because of their leadership. I want to pray for their families, Lord. I pray that you bless their, their children, that you be with them as they grow together. Protect them, Lord. Protect them as sometimes even the children are taken to a higher standard. Jesus. Heavenly Father, be with them Jesus. in every moment. Help them to be men of prayer. Yes. Help them, Lord, to be men of the word. And help them, Lord, to be bold, to always follow you and lead the people. Yes. Lord, we pray that as they are appointed to this congregation, that there will be unity in this church through the leadership of these two men. Yes. That they will see then, and through then, they will be seeing you as they follow and obey you every step of the way. Yes. 
Lord, we are so grateful for the many things that you have done in the past in this congregation. Yes, but we, as we remember the past, Lord, we are just extending ourselves to the future of the ministry of this church through the leadership of Whitmark and Evans and all of the people that are coming together with them to lead the church. We thank you for them, and we praise you for them. Yes. And as they rise from this prayer, I pray, Lord, that they feel empowered to humbly serve you, remembering that the servant is not bigger than the master. Yes. So they will always be striving to follow you, yes. just becoming so much like you, Lord Jesus. Lord. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, Pastor Widmark, may the Lord be with you and guide you. Here's your church. Lead with a humble spirit and let their spirit lead you so they can reach heaven. Amen. Pastor Evans, here's your church. Lead them and allow the Holy Spirit to guide you so you can lead them until they reach heaven. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. So um, we ask the church to respect them, to love them, right, to support them, right? They are the only two pastors in the church, right? There are maybe other pastors also in the church, but the other pastors are under their responsibility, right? So they are, they're not the boss, right? Jesus is the boss, but they are the pastors in charge of Brooklyn Bethlehem Free Methodist Church, okay? Thank you. You want to say a word or no? Praise the Lord, everyone. God is good all the time. Beni swalat and el. Beni swalat and el. Amen. It's a great honor to stand here before you. I recall when I was young, I'm still young, that one of the calling that I received was a dream. It was one time I see, saw myself at the pulpit of the church, 730 Flatbush Avenue. I was there by myself. And then I saw a smoke, a cloud of smoke. As I'm looking at the pulpit, I'm looking at the smoke, the smoke just ran right in me. I fell with the Holy Spirit, start preaching, start praying. And from there, I woke up. I asked my brother, wake up, weed mark. Wake up, wake up, wake up. He woke up, he said, what's wrong? I said, I just having a dream. He said, please, don't tell me the dream because I want to go back to sleep. <laughs> and since this day, I've always put that in my mind. Second dream that I had was at Pastor, Pastor Paul's church. At that time, our church was renting the church. And I saw my dad, and it was me and my brother, me and Woodma, and I saw my dad was very pleased, was very happy. He walked up towards me and touched me, touched my head and touched Woodmark's head. And from there, that's confirmed that God wanted this to be the way that it is today. This is a confirmation that we will lead the church in God's way. It won't be our motive to do it, but in Jesus' name. And we ask you to help us to grow spiritually. We ask you to help us to lead this church so we can go closer to Jesus Christ because that's the only way. As we stand here before you, it's not about us, but it's about Jesus Christ. 
May God bless you all. Uh, you guys may be seated. Uh, I'm going to think about going to school. <laughs> Speech. Uh, beautiful if you could have a seat. Give me one second. Absolutely, that's fine. Right. Thank you, Pastor. Okay, okay. absolutely. Distingué évêque de la de l'Église Métis Libre de Bethléem, de Brooklyn, honorable pasteur, ma chère épouse Angie Bouini Pierre, ma tante mère, Madame Nidi Pierre, chers collaborateurs, mes frères et sœurs, mesdames, mademoiselles, messieurs. Nous sommes réunis, euh, nous sommes réunis ce soir dans le nom précieux de notre Sauveur et Seigneur Jésus-Christ. En effet, nous sommes ici, en effet, notre but ici à cette église de Brooklyn, c'est d'adorer, de l'orer et de célébrer Jésus-Christ, notre grand Dieu, dans un service d'ordination, dans toutes les circonstances, il faut être reconnaissant, car nous savons que Dieu travaille en tout temps pour le meilleur bien de ceux qu'il aime et de ceux qu'il a et de ceux qu'il aime et de, et de ceux qu'il a appelé selon son plan. Nous avons la certitude que rien ne peut nous séparer de l'amour de Dieu, ni la mort, ni la vie, ni les anges, ni les autorités, ni la puissance, ni le présent, ni l'avenir, ni les forces d'en haut, ni les forces d'en bas, ni aucune chose créée. Rien ne pourra jamais nous séparer de l'amour de Dieu nous a manifesté en Jésus-Christ, notre Seigneur. Tout comme l'apôtre Paul, je suis convaincu que Dieu m'a appelé pour son ministère, pour vivre et enseigner la vérité de l'Évangile, pour prêcher la parole de Dieu en toute occasion, favorable ou non, comme un ouvrier digne d'approbation. Je m'engage à servir Dieu et son Église avec dévouement, de façon désintéressée, avec humilité, afin d'être un modèle en foi, en conduite, en amour, en sagesse, en patience et en pureté. Je suis disposé à souffrir comme un vrai ambassadeur de Jésus-Christ, à travailler en étroite collaboration avec les pasteurs, les frères et sœurs, à préparer les citoyens du royaume de Dieu et à accomplir la tâche du service chrétien. Enfin, je remercie mon Seigneur Jésus-Christ pour toute, pour toute sa grâce envers moi et tous ceux qui sont présents en cette minute en cette minute, je remercie d'une façon particulière tous ceux et celles qui m'ont toujours encouragé dans mon ministère, par le prière, le parole, entre autres la sœur Anis Exumé, la sœur Rose Doxeli, la sœur Palmira, la sœur Viton, la sœur Raphaël, la sœur Jadis, la sœur Rodrigue Victor, le frère Emmanuel Victor, le révérend pasteur Wilfried Gédéon, le révérend pasteur Timothée, pasteur Mallory, le révérend pasteur Gordons, le révérend pasteur Mathurin et sa femme, le révérend pasteur Yves Robert, le révérend pasteur Fritz Sage, le révérend pasteur Alphonse, la sœur Kralind, la sœur Adelde, la sœur Raphaël, la sœur Palmera, la sœur André, la sœur Unide, la sœur Gliana, la sœur Elda, la sœur Ribert, la sœur Hubert, la sœur Sefi, la sœur Trina, la sœur Naïka, la sœur Nama, la sœur Sabine, le frère Nathan Edmond et sa femme, le frère Bala, le frère Polika, le frère Harold Pierre, la sœur Islove, le frère Walter Zabon et sa femme, la sœur Harold Pierre, le frère Dabouz et sa femme, le frère Eugène Charles et sa femme, la sœur Florence. Et bon amis nous du Tropétis Nogelayo. Je termine avec cette demande de l'apôtre Paul de son épître aux Fusiens. 6, le verset 19. Je cite « Priez pour moi afin qu'il me soit donné, qu'on j'ouvre la bouche de faire connaître ardiment et librement le ministère de l'Évangile et que Dieu me soit en aide. Merci à toutes et à tous. Que Dieu vous bénisse. » Thank you. Right now, Maxine, sister Jenny, to come in the front. She's the one who's going to sing for us. La Sœur Jenny. You want La Sœur Jenny? Pastor?
Amen. Life is easy when you're up on the mountain and you've got peace of mind like you've never known. But things change when you're down in the valley. But don't lose faith, for you're never alone. And the God on the mountain is still God in the valley. When things go Talk of faith when we're up on the mountain, but talk comes so easy when life's at its best. Now it's down in the valley.
quand Dieu tout puissant, le Dieu d'Abraham, Isaac et de Jacob, que la bénédiction de Dieu reposait sur les deux pasteurs. C'est un métier d'un jusqu'au temps de tout le temps. Bon chemin. Parce que appel là, il t'est fait déjà. Je dis, il y a un accomplissement. Bah, bravo! Merci bien, c'était votre frère, le pasteur chanteur, Fritz Sager. Il était femme 67 ans. Je suis jeune garçon, je jeune garçon. Okay, so continuing uh, praising the Lord, now is the time that we will talk about a little bit about what the Lord wants to talk to us tonight. Amen. I know many of you already had sermons this morning, right? But we never get tired of to receive the word of God, right? So he, there is always wisdom in the Lord, amen? So my question is, do we need translation or I can just do in English? Full English? Okay, no, no, no translation. Okay, very good then. Okay, so this is faster, right? Otherwise translation is another 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, but uh, I'd like to invite the church to open up their Bibles in Luke 7. Luke chapter 7, we will be talking about but I'd like to invite read verses 18 through 23, okay? So, um, let us read on Luke 7, 1 through 10. And then 18 through 23. Amen? The word of God says this. When he had finished saying all this to the people who were listening, he entered in Capernaum. There, there a centurion servant whom his master valued highly was sick. And about to die. The centurion heard of Jesus and sent some elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and heal the servant. When they came to Jesus, they pleaded earnestly with him. This man deserves to have you to do this because he loves our nation and has built our synagogue. So Jesus went with them. He was not far from the house when the centurion sent friends to say to him, Lord, don't trouble yourself, for I do not deserve to have you come under my roof. That is why I did not even consider myself worthy of coming to you. But say the word, and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority, with soldiers under me. I tell this, and they go. I, he, and I tell this one, go, and he goes. I tell that one, come, and he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him. And turning to the crowd following him, he said, I tell you, I have not found such great faith even in Israel. Then the man who had been sent returned to the house and found the servant well. Let's read now uh, from 18 to 23. John's disciple told him about all these things. Calling two of them, he sent them to the Lord to ask, are, the one, are you the one who is to come or we should expect someone else? When the men came to Jesus, they said, John the Baptist sent us to ask you, 
Are you the one who was to come? Or should we expect someone else? At the very time, Jesus cured many who had disease, sickness, and evil spirits, and gave sight to many who were blind. So he replied to the messengers, go back and report to John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive sight, the lame walk. Those who have leprosy are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the good news is proclaimed to the poor. Blessed is anyone who does not stumble on account of me. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, thank you. Thank you for your word. And we pray, Lord, that your word will come and teach us. Lord, we are opening up our hearts to understand what you want to say to us. And allow us to put in practice so we may continue to glorify your name. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, these are two interesting passages, right? One talks about um, a soldier, a Roman soldier, right? So, a, uh, a centurion is a man that takes care of a hundred soldiers, right? I don't know, a captain, a sergeant, I don't know. Uh, uh, so, he was a man that had people under him, and also he was a soldier himself that was under authority. So he understood very well command, right? Uh, Woodmark is in the police force, right? So he's a military, right? So he also understands what, what the boss say, go, you go, right? There is no, no question about it. Is that, is that right? Very good, very good. Okay, so that's called submission. That's called obedience, right? And the very same thing the Lord loves when he sees that in the church too. In fact, throughout the Bible, right, we read, submit to one another, submit to authorities, right? Husbands and wives, submit to each other, right, and in the Lord. So, so submission is important, not because it is one, the boss of the other, but it's the way humility plays in our heart, and we understand the other. Without submission, is impossible, right? I have submission to my children. <laughs> I have a 16-year-old, so she, she is learning now that, he, that she can talk, right? So sometimes she comes to me and, and she sometimes demands this stuff and say, yeah, 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 yeah. No demanding here, you can ask. Right? And I am your dad. I can think about and let's see if we can do or not. Right? So I'm teaching her submission. Right? Uh, so she's learning. She's growing. Right? But we need submission. So as I teach her, I am submitting myself too because that's how the Lord wants us to be. Right? So this centurion... Uh, uh, when the Bible he is talking about and he says about the commands and everything, he understands authority. He understands even so talking about Jesus, who Jesus is. Because he heard of Jesus and he knows Jesus heals. He knows Jesus answers. He knows Jesus has the answer for you. So this man had a problem. His servant was sick. Have you been in a situation where somebody that you know needs Jesus? Have you been there? Right? Sometimes, uh, um, you know, we want to do something and we can't. We can't. But we remember that we know Jesus and Jesus can do anything, right? Jesus has no problem, right? Amen? Jesus has no problem. Right now, we are in the midst of a pandemic, right? Coronavirus, COVID-19 is, is a problem. Yes or no? It is a problem. Big problem. Big problem. However, even in the midst of this pandemic, Jesus is with us. Jesus is taking care of us. Doesn't matter what the outcome is. 
Jesus is present with us. This passage talks about two futures. Interesting. It talks about two people, two men that sent somebody. It talks about two men that both had faith. One, one level a little bit different than the other. But both had different circumstances. And both needed Jesus. So uh, um, the centurion, uh, Jesus said, you know, man, you have faith. Unbelievable. I have not seen either among my people in the Jews. You said that if I say it happens, you believe that? I know it could, it, it happens because my word is, pro, is powerful. Jesus knows his word. It's not about himself. But he wanted to know if the person really believed in what he was saying. And the man believed him and said, no, yes, no, no, you don't need to come to my house. I'm sorry, my roof, you know, maybe I got some pictures in my house or maybe my roof is bad or, or because I'm not totally holy in my house and I know, but you don't need to come inside my house. But I know because your word is so powerful, you can say your word and my servant will be healed. I believe that. Do we believe that, that Jesus is powerful? Do we believe that? Do you believe Jesus is powerful to help you in the problem you have? Do you believe that the Lord is right now near you and saying, Child, I love you. You don't need to be aggravated. You don't need to be crying. I am here with you. Do you believe that? Yes, we need to believe that. Isaiah 43, the Lord says like this, child, do not be afraid because you are mine. I called you by your name. You are mine. This is wonderful, right? This is wonderful. There is another one in Isaiah 26, verse 3. It says like this. For those who fear the Lord, he will keep you in perfect peace. There is no problems when we have Jesus. We may have some situations around us, but they will not take my faith away because I know who Jesus is. We have always to believe that the Lord can do something. And he will do something. Because he is Jesus. And he'll do for you. Yes. I don't know what you need this week. I don't know. I don't know what you need this week. Maybe you need a job. Maybe you need something to change this week. Maybe you need somebody that is sick needs to be healed. Or maybe you have a problem in a relationship. Maybe you have a situation in your marriage and it's not working. Maybe you have your boss has something wrong and he said you did something wrong and now you have a problem in your job. I don't know what, what problem you may have today. But one thing I can assure you. If you bring this to Jesus, the Lord can give a word. And it will be fixed. There was a second person. This second person was the man that baptized Jesus. Remember, when he baptized Jesus, and then there was a voice, a loud voice that come, came from heaven. And he spoke like this. This is my son. Right? That was the voice. A lot of people heard. 
So John the Baptist heard not somebody that told him. A voice from heaven that said, what you're doing, John, is what you came to prepare the way for him so he could continue his ministry. Thank you, John. Thank you for what you did. So John heard from God. But sometimes we have problems in our lives. Sometimes we go through situations that make us shake a little bit. Sometimes it's not that we forget Jesus. We don't forget Jesus. But sometimes we say, will God help me? Will God help me? My problem is so big. I messed up big time. Big time. I don't think God will hear me. Because maybe I sinned. Or maybe I did something wrong that I shouldn't have done. Maybe I spoke bad of somebody. Now I am in trouble. I don't know what I do. Some people could be in this situation right now. So sometimes circumstances around us change the focus of our minds. And sometimes we think in the problem to be bigger than Jesus Christ. And it's not that we don't believe in God. But sometimes we want to hear again Jesus say, I am here. I can help you. If you sin, I can forgive. You can tell me your sin. I want to forgive you because I died on the cross for you. I shed my blood for you. I knew sometimes you were going to do something wrong. I knew it, but I am here to forgive you. I don't want you to carry this problem. I don't want you to be with this guilt in your heart. I can't forgive you, Jesus says. I want you to throw in my feet your problem. I want to listen to you. I want to touch your heart. I want to heal your heart. I want to heal your mind. I want to work in you. I want to help you. So John was about to die. One servant was about to live. This servant is about to die. His head was about to be cut off. Because he spoke truth about the king. And the woman got, you know, killed this guy. So he was put in jail. So in the time of anguish... He sent two servants, go and ask Jesus. And interesting, for both servants, Jesus answered them. Both servants, Jesus answered them. So the second servants, Jesus said, come and see. So he healed this person, he healed that person, he healed that person, he healed this person, gave sight to this person. This person walked and he said, go and tell John, the man I love. I love John, John Baptist because he's giving his life for me. So go over there and tell him what you saw so he may believe that what he did was right. So Jesus wants to answer you, doesn't matter what circumstances you are. One man had a lot of faith. One, not that he didn't have faith, he had a lot of faith. However, he needed to listen from Jesus, this hug, this hug. And say, I am with you, son. So I want you to go home tonight. With the understanding that your faith needs to be active every day. 
If there's something happening in your life, Jesus today can give you an answer. If you are in need of an answer today, we will pray today and Jesus will answer your prayer. Amen, church. I don't want you to walk, but I want you to lift up your hand if you need something from Jesus today. And I'll be praying from here. If there is something, okay, I got you, sister, I got you, brother. If there is something that you need that Jesus to answer for you today, I want you just to wave your arm like this. And I'll be praying. I'll be praying for you right now. Yes, 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 sister. Yes, I'll be praying for you. And as I pray, I want you to touch your heart because I'll be praying for you. And I know the Lord is going to be answering this week for you. There are three ways Jesus answers. Yes, no, and wait. He will answer. And I want you to believe. And you will hear from the Lord. Amen, church. Let us pray. Jesus, thank you. For your presence thank you for your holy spirit thank you jesus for your word thank you jesus because you talk to us thank you jesus because this story gives us encouragement for us to believe even more about you jesus thank you lord because you spoke to the need of the centurion he had a need and you answered Thank you, Lord, because you heard John the Baptist, Lord. You heard his cry. He needed your hug because he was suffering in jail. He was about to die. But you heard his cry, Jesus. Lord, right now, today, we have people here in the church that they are going through tough times right now, Lord. I don't know if they need a job. I don't know if the finances are short. I don't know if they don't have the money to pay the rent this money this month, Lord. Lord, I don't know if there is a need of, of finances in the house. Oh, Lord, if there is anybody sick. Oh, Lord, if there is a situation in a marriage. Oh, Lord, if one of the children is not in the church. Lord, if their, their children needs to hear about you, Jesus. Lord, I don't know what is the problem, Jesus. Lord, but today, right now, we are praying so your Lord, your spirit may come and heal the hearts of those that need healing, Lord. I pray that you come and touch and you will answer the prayer of those that have waved their hands, Lord. Lord, bless this church. Bless, Lord, this church. Bless the families of this church. Bless the men. Bless the women. Bless the children. Bless the young adults. Lord, I pray your blessings over this church. And this church will continue to grow. And this church will experience your Holy Spirit, Lord, touching them every day, Lord. I pray that you will bless them, Lord, in such a manner that they will tell stories. And this New York will hear about this church. And they will come to church because of them, Lord. Lord, bless your church today. In your name I pray, Jesus. Amen. Amen. La paix, bon Dieu, avant l'église. Et je vais me dédier la musique à Pasteur Evans. Et Pasteur Widmark. Congratulations. Désicale-moi ce pour moi, ça vu. Pour me 
fait tout ça, Moudi. Tant pis, Seigneur, pas qui t'aime tomber. Oh, fais pas en lumière, on a pied moins. Guidez-moi sous chemin. Saint-Esprit, couvrez-moi avec force. Oh, oh, oh. Désiquer, moi, c'est pour moi servir. Pour me faire tout ça, vous dites. Tant pis, Seigneur, pas quitter, tomber. Oh, fais pas en lumière, on a pied moins. Guidez-moi sous chemin. Saint-Esprit couvrim ak fosou Touche m Guide m Saint-Esprit couvrim ak fosou Pou m'ka fè chemin Ouava Touche m ou à guider Saint-Esprit couvre ma force pour me faire chemin Qu'un de fois découragement entré pour faire me perdre du vision tant pris Seigneur pas qu'il t'aime Oh, tes icônes, moi c'est pour moi servir, pour me faire tout ça, vous dites. Tant pis, Seigneur, pas qui t'aime tomber, touché.
Parce que nous avons dit que nous avons dit que nous dit pas là encore. Nous avons dit pas vrai? Mais merci, bon Dieu, nous avons des petits. Garçon, il y a plus, mais il y a des petits garçons qui remplacent. Faut passer Wilmark, passer Evans, même Mimi ou yo. Nous avons les bobos. Et nous campons pour nous prier pour nous, nous sommes des avec et nous voulons pour nous lancer ensemble avec vous. Amen. Que bon Dieu bénisse nous. Amen. Nous allons chanter. Non, c'est pour l'adoration, nous ne pouvons pas le temps. Amen. C'est honneur à l'agneau. Amen. Et nous dit bon Dieu merci tout, s'il vous plaît. Monsieur, euh, Pasteur nous yo, yo monté à 7. Le chiffre est 7. Chiffre de la perfection. Il y a 7 personnes qui baptisent hier. Amen. Il y a 7 personnes qui baptisent hier. Nous dit bon Dieu merci pour ça. Honneur à l'agneau. Jésus t'es bien fait, oh Jésus t'es bien, t'es bien fait, t'es bien fait, sans infini, je te glorifie, je te glorifie, je te loue toujours, je te loue toujours, je chante alléluia, je chante alléluia, oh Jésus t'es Je, je, je te glorifie, je te loue toujours, je te loue toujours, je chante Alléluia, je chante Alléluia, oh Jésus t'es bien, bien fait, t'es bien fait, sans infini, oh Dieu t'es bien fait, oh Dieu t'es Oh Dieu t'a bien fait, oh Dieu t'a bien fait, je te glorifie, je te glorifie, je te loue toujours, je chante Alléluia, je chante Alléluia, oh Jésus t'a Je te glorifie, je te glorifie, je te loue toujours. Je, je chante Alléluia, je chante Alléluia. Oh Jésus, t'es bien, t'es bien fait, t'es bien fait, sans tes filles. Oh Jésus, t'es bien fait, t'es bien fait. 
bien fait, t'es bien fait. Chantant Ebenezer, la grâce infinie de Dieu. Souviens-toi de l'amour de Dieu. Chantant et bé, chantant et La grâce infinie de Dieu. Souviens-toi de l'amour de Dieu. Et béni le roi des chantant et bé, chantant. Mettons debout pour la prière, car nous allons terminer. Céleste Père en Jésus-Christ, nous sommes infiniment contents et reconnaissants envers le Seigneur. Particulièrement parce que vous dites que nous deux nous trois réunis dans nous, certainement ou là au milieu de nous. Et puis ce côté là, Seigneur, nous vous merci pour la présence qui t'a partagé au sein de nous. Nous vous merci, Seigneur, pour Jean qui te communiquer nos paroles ou à soi qui apprennent au Dieu à activer foi dans quelque soit circonstance, Seigneur. Nous 
Nous nous merci pour ça aider nous bon Dieu fait que nous capable de bon trésor Seigneur pour nous capable qu'embé parole ça yo avec une parole ça nous capable fortifier Seigneur dans les moments même les moments les plus sombres de la vie. Béni mon Dieu nouveau pasteur nous yo en l'occurrence notre bien-aimé serviteur ou pasteur Evans Pierre ainsi que pasteur Widmark Pierre Seigneur nous demande autant prier nous réclamer au oh Dieu présence au bon Dieu capable couvrir au Seigneur on va motiver au Seigneur on va ba des nouvelles visions au oh Dieu on va parler à cœur on va parler à l'âme on va parler à l'esprit et on va doter de un pouvoir de une capacité de puissance Seigneur afin que sous dicté au Seigneur yo capable mener peuple ça au bon port l'Éternel des armées là au senti au faible rend yo fort au oh Dieu merci mon Dieu pour au oh Dieu ah, ben, les leaders des missions méthodistes libres qui étaient déplacés Seigneur pour venir installer au oh Père nous demandons autant prier au Dieu, on va continuer de tra travailler avec eux. Même si on qu'on travaille avec disciples, Seigneur, au Moyen-Âge, l'éternel des armées. Et bénis chaque monde qui était là, assoyé, Seigneur. Même esprit qui te mène nos vies là, Seigneur, capable de croire en nos demeures respectives. Et encore, dans un moment similaire, Seigneur, nous allons rejoindre encore pour nous continuer à rehausser et clanons. Restez avec nous, ces prières qui nous adressent avec vous, au nom de Jésus. Amen.